With Alibre Design, you can publish your parts and assemblies to a PDF file format, which can be viewed with the free Adobe Reader, version 7.08 and above. PDF publishing is available in most versions of Alibre Design. If you have PDF publishing capability, depending on your license, you may have model-only publishing or full publishing. Please see the Alibre Design user manual for the differences between the two types. The first example I will show is creating a PDF file from a part model. With the part workspace open, go to the File main menu and select Publish to PDF. If this option is grayed out, you do not have a license for PDF publishing. When you select Publish to PDF, the PDF publishing wizard will appear. In the first dialog, you need to select the template that you like to use. This template determines how the final PDF page will look. For a part, the two options are model only on the full page, where the model will take up the entire page in the published PDF, and model only on a half page, where the model will appear on the top half of the page, and the bottom half of the page will be blank. For this example, I'm going to select model only on half page. The next thing that you need to do is to add a title. This is the title that will appear at the top of the page in the published PDF file. The default title is the name of the part file. I'm going to go ahead and leave the title as the default and then click Next. The next dialog is where you choose the file name for the PDF file and the location to save the file to. You can click the Browse button to select the location to save the file. Enter a file name for your PDF file, and then click Save. Now you can click the Preview button if you'd like to preview the PDF before you save it. If you choose not to complete the publishing process, the file will not be saved. In the Paper field, you can select your paper size from the drop-down list. When you've finished setting all of the options, click Publish. This is the result for a part file published with the template model only half page. If I zoom out, you can see that the model is printed on only the top half of the page. The next example that I'll show is the process to publish an assembly model. So I have an assembly workspace open, and I'm going to again go to the file main menu and select publish to PDF. The publishing wizard appears. In the first dialog, I have the same two template options that I had for a part model. This time I'm going to demonstrate the model only full page template. Next you can add a title if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the default title. Note that you can leave this field blank if you'd like to. And now I'm going to click Next. The next dialog is where I choose the file name and save locations for the PDF. So again, I'll click the Browse to find the appropriate save location, and then select my paper size, and then click on the Publish button. Here you'll see the resulting PDF file using model-only, full-page options. I'll go ahead and zoom out so you can see the entire page. For the next example, I'm going to describe how to create a PDF file of an assembly in the Exploded view. This option is only available if you have a license for full publishing. To begin, you must have already created an Exploded view, and you must be viewing the assembly in the Exploded view that you like to publish. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click this Exploded view, and then select Edit Exploded view. Now I'm in the Exploded view state. I can now go to the File main menu and select Publish to PDF. The PDF Publishing Wizard appears, and you'll notice that there are different options available for the templates this time. The options are Exploded View Full Page, where the model will fill the page, Exploded View Half Page, where the model will be on the top half of the page and the bottom will be blank, Exploded View Top with Steps, where the model will be in the top half and the step information will be listed below, 
And finally, exploded view left with steps, where the model is on the left side and the steps are listed on the right. I'll go into more detail about the steps as we progress through this segment. I'll select exploded view top with steps for this example. Now, like before, I can add a title. You can see that the default title is the name of the exploded view in this case, rather than the name of the assembly model file. I'll go ahead and give it a more descriptive name here. Now I can click Next. In the Next dialog, I can choose if I want the model to be published in the exploded state, or I can have it published in the unexploded state. I'm going to choose the exploded state. In the text field, you can click the font button to change the font. This font will be used for the printing of the exploded view steps in the PDF. Click OK when you've chosen your font, and then click Next. In the next dialog, you choose the name for your PDF file and the save location. So again, you can browse to find the location that you like, then select your paper size, and finally click Publish. I'll go ahead and zoom out here so you can see the entire page. You can see that the model is on the top half of the page, and there are steps listed below. Now I'd like to discuss the exploded view steps in a little more detail. When you create an exploded view, either by using auto explode or manual, one step is created for each part that moves from its original location. You can view these steps in the exploded view step editor. To open the editor, I will select the edit exploded view steps tool from the assembly modeling toolbar. The editor appears and all of the steps are listed there. You can see that as I click on each step, the part that it tracks is highlighted in the work area. If I add descriptive information to these steps, this will be included in the PDF file for users with full publishing licenses. So I'll go ahead and give a descriptive name to this step 4. as well as the description of what the step does. Then I'll click Apply, and then close the dialog, and publish a new PDF file. So from the File main menu, select Publish PDF. This time I'm going to choose the model on the left with Steps template, and again I'll add more detail to the title. Now I'll click Next, and this time when I go to the Save dialog, I'm going to specify a new name for the PDF file that I'm creating. Now I click Publish, and you can see the result here. I'll again zoom out so that you can see the full page. And notice now that the descriptions I added in the Exploded View Steps Editor appear here. I want to take a minute to give you a few suggestions to help improve the quality of your published PDF file. You should make sure that your workspace window is maximized before publishing the PDF, and choose a white background for the work area. Also, you should make sure that before publishing, you zoom in on your model so that it fills as much of the work area as possible. Now I want to demonstrate some of the features of the PDF file. You can view the explosion animation if the file was published in the exploded state. To do this, you can either right-click on the model image and then choose Enable 3D, or you can simply left-click on the model image. Once you've enabled 3D, you can click on any of the steps in the list, and the model image will update to show what the model looks like at that step in the explosion.
If you'd like to see the entire model explosion, click Reset, and then click Explode. Then to see the implosion, click Reset again, and then click Implode. Note that you must click Reset each time before you click Explode or Implode for the animation to work correctly.